Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a team cap balancer in Roblox Studio. So, let's get started. First things first, we're going to create three teams. Put this in the team service. And then name uh, one of them red, or whatever you want your first team. And this one's going to be blue. And this one's going to be choosing. Alright, then we're going to make red, red, blue, blue and then choosing to medium server and then for red and blue turn off auto assignable that makes it so they don't spawn as that and now what we're gonna do is make a GUI and we're gonna call this team chooser and put reset on spawn so they can keep changing their team and then I'm also going to make a starter player script, or actually a starter character script that loads with the character. This is going to get rid of your team whenever you die. So we're just going to do set team. And this loads whenever your character loads in. So local character equals script up parent. Local player equals game dot players. Get player from character. Character. Player dot team equals game dot teams dot choosing. Alright, so now uh, we can't test it yet, but we will soon. Now in Team Chooser, we're just going to add a text button and another text button. And then we'll make the colors for each of them different. So this one's blue and this one's red. Then on both of those, you can just go ahead and, you know, customize it the way you like it. And name these Team button okay and then what we're gonna do is also um, in the text you can just change it to red blue there we go all right and now we're gonna select both of these and we're just gonna drag it down here now this is how they're gonna choose and to make it scale perfectly on all devices I'm going to use this cool plugin called Unit Conversion uh, or Auto Scale Light, and you can find this. It's one of the first plugins in the toolbox, right here. It's free, also. Okay, and now we're going to create a local script. We're going to call this Manage, and what we're going to do is make a variable for the GUI, then make a variable for buttons. So buttons is going to be GUI get children and then equals and then that and then do if success then uh, and then we'll do whatever and we'll do uh, else so if success equals to true then and then else yeah um, so now what we're gonna do is go back to manage teams do game .arcade storage team change dot on server invoke equals function and then do team and I also forgot one thing go back to manage and invoke the server with button dot text so that's gonna be um, the team okay and then back here what we're gonna do is um, if and then we're also going to need a uh, like cap that's on the team so what we're gonna do is value and we're going to call this max players and put that on both of them and then we can change this to uh, well I'm going to do one on each of them just to show you that you can't join the same team twice 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 so uh, if team dot or find for child max players then if team dot max players dot value and then is greater than and then we're gonna do hashtag team get players on team or I think it's just called get players um, let me see if that's right we can test this by going to game dot teams in the command bar and uh, dot red get players yeah just get players I'm correct okay and then, so if the value 
is greater than the amount of players on the team. Then we're gonna do player. Oh yeah, also in function, always do player before because it won't work if you do that because um, you always have to have the player variable first. Uh, player dot team equals to team. And then also do player load character so they respawn. Okay, uh, and now what we're gonna do is we can just uh, also return true and uh, else return false. Okay, and uh, now what we're gonna do is if uh, it didn't work, then we're gonna make a pop up. It's a text label. It's gonna pop up in the middle of your screen. And what this is gonna do is tell you yes or or like max players. So we're gonna do team limit reached, and then scale that up. So it sounds bold. Just change the colors and everything. And then you know, unit conversion. And then we're also gonna call this error. Also, uh, you can add a UI corner to make it look a lot better. So if you add a UI corner, you can make it like round. I think that's pretty cool. And also put the transparency at like 25. So I think that looks pretty cool. Now make sure this is uh, visible is off. And what we're gonna do is gui.error.visible equals to true. Wait zero point. Uh, actually, we'll just wait one. GUI.error.visible equals false. Uh, and then copy this and paste that here. And actually, change this to not equal. So tilde equals true. So if it's not equal to true, then you do this. And then 